providing temporary access to your application. This tutorial applies to PSP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Let's say you need to provide users temporary access to your application. You create a user, set their access to temporary, and after 24 hours, they should not be able to log on to your application. And of course, you need this to happen automatically. To achieve this, we need to add two more fields to the user table. You can add the fields in any way you like, but I am going to add them here in PHP Runner. Click the table menu, select modify table. I now add the first field and call it access. The data type will be varchar50. The next field is temporary access start. I make this a date time field. Click modify table and the fields are added. Next is the Choose Pages screen. At this point in time, the Users table is not visible in the application as no pages are selected for it. I select the list, Inline Edit and Inline Add as I want to add and edit users. I now select the fields for the Users page here in the Choose Fields page. This can also be done at the page designer page. For this demonstration, it's important to be able to add and edit the new access field we added a few moments ago. Next is the page designer. Here I edit the access field to have a lookup functionality. I'm only going to need temporary and inactive. I supply the values by selecting list of items and adding them here. Next, let's add the code to the event page. At the before record added event of the users table, add the following code. Here we simply initialize the temporary access starts field with the value of the current date and time. You can add the same code to the before record updated event in case you would like to initialize the field during an update. So by the way, I left a link in the description to all code used in this tutorial. Finally, at the before login event of the login page, paste the following code. Here we check the value of the user's access field. If it says inactive, we reject the login. If it says temporary, and the value of the temporary access starts field is more than 24 hours old, then we also reject the login. All other users can log on. And that is it. Let's see how it works. After signing on, I now have users in the application. I also have the database table open so we can see what happens if we add a user. Let's add a user called Oliver Twist. His username is Oliver. I now fill out all other fields and for access I select temporary. Ok, let's have a quick peek at the new record in the table. As you can see, since I selected temporary for the access field, the temporary access start field is also populated with the date and time of when the record was added. I now sign on as Oliver and all is working well. We now will have to wait 24 hours to see if we can still sign on then. Instead of waiting 24 hours, I update the date in the temporary access starts field to simulate 24 hours. Oliver is now unable to sign on. 
His grace period of 24 hours has passed.